It's my great opportunity to talk in the first national conference on psychiatry on the platform of uh, BAP. With due respect to my uh, chair, uh, chair of the session, Professor Wazaram Choudhury, Muhammad Ajidul Islam, and um, uh, Muhammad uh, H. Mustafizur Rahman Sar, and my dear audience, good afternoon. I'd like to share why I'm interested to do this, uh, to do this work on, uh, on this topic. Uh, because that the vitamin D deficiency is a common uh, underdiagnosed and unrecognized condition. Substantial research shows the association between mental illness and vitamin D deficiency, particularly in bipolar, major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, and ASD. Low vitamin D levels were found to correlate with major depression and premenstrual mood symptoms in women, and mood disorders and cognitive impairment in, old, uh, in older adults. Elisa et al. found that the lower serum levels were associated with more anxiety symptoms at baseline in older persons. The other study shows that the vitamin deficiency insufficiency are, bo um, are both highly prevalent in adolescents with severe mental illness. Uh, let's uh, see the, what is the role of vitamin D. Studies, demonstrated, studies have demonstrated levels of two rate-limiting enzymes, that is tyrosine hydroxylase and tryptophan hydroxylase, they are regulated by 125 dihydroxylase vitamin D3. Vitamin D deficiency this, this, so may contribute to the etiology of mental disorder by affecting the pathway of serotonin and cathecholamine synthesis. Rodent experiments have demonstrated that the active vitamin D enhance glutamate and glutamine metabolism in neurons. So therefore, it participated in behavioral changes and neurotransmitter level alteration. And it this also uh, maintain the calcium homeostasis. Review studies reported that increased vitamin D receptor associated with anxiety, decreased activity, and muscular and motor impairment. So uh, why we were interested to, to do this study? Because in this corner period, we found a series of patients who were not responding with adequate dose and duration of the psychotropic medicine. They were complaining of several somatic symptoms, forgetfulness, body aches, despite their medical comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, asthma, thyroid profile were the under control. The scarcity of the study regarding the association of vitamin D with mental illness in our country stimulates us to investigate the status of vitamin D in different group of mental disorders. The methodology is a, a cross-sectional retrospective uh, study that, is, that was carried out from June 22 November 21, 2005, patients were attended the telemedicine uh, session, uh, uh, and uh, data were collected from a um, register book. 15 patients refused to do the vitamin D screening. The clinical diagnosis was followed on the DSM-5 uh, diagnostic criteria. The vitamin D was uh, uh, categorized according to the clinical practice guidelines from the U.S. Endocrine Society. That is, vitamin D deficiency is considered uh, below 20 ng per mo, and uh, uh, the uh, insufficiency considered 21 to 29 ng per mo. In table one, we sh uh, the, it is uh, showing that the uh, female participants are more uh, uh, than the male, and uh, the most of the respondents belongs to 19 to 36 age group, and uh, more than 50 percent per, per patient uh, they responded from outside Dhaka. The psychiatric disorders, we found that the, among the, all the mental disorders, OCD patients were the highest in numbers, followed by major depressive disorder, bipolar, and schizophrenia, and on, uh, so on. And uh, the, the, uh, the prevalence among the study subjects, the prevalence of hypervitaminosis is found 87.8%. Among those showing the category of vitamin D level, the vitamin D deficiency was found 61.95%. And insufficiency 25.85 percent, and only uh, the only 12.2 percent was in within normal limit. Among the co comparison between the, the different category of vitamin D level and the uh, socio-demographic variables, the uh, age and habitat that shows the significant relationship. But there's a though the uh, vitamin D is deficient, is um, uh, deficiency is marked in female, but there's a no significant relationship was found. And among the disorder, the deficiency is more found in the obsession or OCD patient, followed by uh, bipolar and schizophrenia. 
The mean vitamin D level is found 19.97. The lowest vitamin D was found in among the schizophrenia, then the OCD and bipolar patient. And uh, the, there is a, the, uh, uh, the vitamin D level. There is an association, a significant association between the vitamin D level and the psychiatric disorders. The significant relationship was found between the OCD, MDD, and BMD and OCD. So, the, as far as we know, this is the first study carried out on psychiatric patients to see the vitamin D status. We found high prevalence of VDID closer to the patients with medical illness, doctors, female government workers in Bangladesh, and is higher among the psychiatric disorder patients in Western countries and are similar and closer to the levels of, in this subcontinent. In different studies, we uh, showed that the vitamin le le D level in schizophrenia, which also reflects in the study finding, among admitted adolescents in 18 to, 8, 18 to 22 years in, in uh, uh, New York, a study reported that the vitamin, those with vitamin D deficiency were three and a half times more likely to have the psychotic features. In this study, the OCD patients were found higher than other disorders. It may be explained that the OCD is triggered in, in corona period. That's why they need uh, immediate help. Limited studies have done as an association between the OCD and the vitamin D. In our study, we found the vitamin D level uh, uh, vitamin D uh, and schizophrenia, uh, level uh, among vitamin D and schizophrenia, that was much closer to each other. Uh, just, um, just, uh, just and Chan focused that on the high vitamin D levels reduce the risk of depression. Kaletsa et al. reported that the vitamin D have, uh, may have beneficial effects on ASD subjects, especially when the final serum level is more than 40 ng per ml. A study on children with epilepsy at University of Mala in Malaysia reported that the long-term use of anti-epileptic drug is associated with vitamin D deficiency. In our practice, we saw a satisfactory clinical improvement with vitamin D supplementation. The limitation and conclusion that the, is, uh, of the study is there is a cross-sectional design heterogeneity of the samples in terms of psychiatric diagnosis. And no firm conclusions can be made regarding vitamin D deficiency, mental illness, and direction of causality if present. The key message is that prevention is better than cure, as the vitamin D deficiency is an underdiagnosed entity, especially in treating patients with psychiatric disorders. Hopefully, the patients would be benefited if properly screened and prescribed vitamin D as an augmentation with the psychotropic medicine as routine practice in patients irrespective of age and sex. Thank you. Thank you all for patience hearing.